Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles, and we're on a worldwide journey to broaden our perspectives by putting ourselves somewhere new on the map. Our month in Egypt is quickly coming to an end, but we're not done here on the Sinai Peninsula just yet. We have had three amazing days of diving here in Dahab. The Red Sea has really blown us away, and we know we barely even scratched the surface of what this area has to offer for serious divers. But there is definitely more to Dahab than just diving, and we are really excited for what we have planned for today. We are headed up further north to the Blue Lagoon. It's a really popular day trip, but there are also some pretty primitive accommodations. We don't have anything booked, but we have packed a couple of bags, and we are ready for a bit of an adventure. It's about a 30-minute ride to the Blue Hole where we dove just a couple of days ago, and that's where the road ends, and we're going to be on foot from there. made it to the blue hole where the road ends. You can actually take a motorboat from here, but we have decided to hike the rest of the way. Steve from the dive shop told us it's about an hour and a half to Abu Ghulum where we're gonna stop and have lunch and maybe snorkel. His trail instructions were if we were getting wet, we were going the wrong way, or if we were going uphill, we were going the wrong way. So it should be pretty straightforward. idea to walk instead because we have been eating a lot of Egyptian bread. This coastline honestly doesn't even seem real. These desert mountains just come right down into the Red Sea and the water goes from this turquoise green to the deepest blue that I think I've seen. a really nice hike along the coast but it took a bit longer than we were expecting. It's already 2.45 and we still have about three miles from here to get to the Blue Lagoon. I believe there is a road that can take you there from here so we might be getting a taxi for the rest of the way. <laughs> We have made it to the Blue Lagoon, and it's time to find out where we're going to stay tonight. This water is so blue. After walking around for a bit and checking out a few of the different camps, we have found home for the night. We have pretty basic accommodations, but he did just bring us clean sheets. We're not going to be in here very much anyways, because check out this view. We are just relaxing in front of our place as the sun is going down behind the mountains. And this is not a bad place to call home for the night. I'm really glad we're gonna have some more time to hang out and explore tomorrow. Whoa. These kite surfers are legit. This one guy has been going back and forth. He jumps up in the air and then he just eats it. And then he has to chase his board. He gets back on it. He goes back and forth. He is persistent. We're doing a time lapse right now, and I'm pretty sure he's gone in front of our time lapse no less than 100 times. Good morning. It's about 8.30 and the sun is already very high in the sky this morning. We've been up for the past couple of hours, but I'm pretty sure we're the only ones. <laughs> if we thought Dahab was quiet in the morning, it is nothing compared to this place. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> but we've just been relaxing at our place, hiding from the wind, and waiting for any signs of life to hopefully get some coffee here soon. Taking matters into our own hands. I've made some friends this morning. Jess has turned into a cat lady. <laughs> These are really, really cuddly cats. Also, it's almost 10 a.m. It's time to get in the water. 
We're gonna try and go paddle boarding, but the wind is really strong. So we rented it for an hour and we might spend most of that time walking back on the beach, but <laughs> here goes nothing. <laughs> Well, since we took the truck from Abu Ghulum yesterday, we decided we we're gonna walk back that way today. We had a pretty slow morning, so it's already noon. Well, we are almost back to the blue hole and sadly our 30 day visa here in Egypt is quickly running out, but we have one more adventure planned here on the Sinai Peninsula before we have to leave. We have come about an hour and a half inland from Dahab to St. Catherine. This is a very picturesque town set right in the middle of the Sinai Mountains. We're gonna be staying here for the next couple of nights and we are getting started with a hike up the famous Mount Sinai for sunset. The hike is about four miles one way and it gets started here at the site of the St. Catherine Monastery, which is one of the oldest monasteries in the world, originally built to commemorate the site of the burning bush. So people come from all over the world to come to this site and to hike this mountain. It is required to hire a guide for the hike and this is Salim who will be taking us to the top. And as a bonus, we also have a guide dog. You can, as an option, take a camel to the top, which was pretty tempting, but we really need to walk. And he's gonna make sure to tempt us the whole way to the top, <laughs> following us along the trail. Yeah. We're a little past halfway and we just stopped at one of the coffee houses on the trail. We got a little entertainment. The shop owner had a handmade Bedouin guitar and played us a couple of songs. And we got a Snickers to enjoy at the top. We have made it to the end of the trail and we have 750 steps to go from here. Whether you take a camel or not, you gotta climb up from here. 700 climbing steps ahead. made it to the summit of Mount Sinai and this is the spot where Moses received the Ten Commandments. Whether you're particularly religious or not, this is such an impactful place to be where such a significant percentage of the world's population has a shared religious history with the story of this mountain. It really is special to be here. There's both a mosque and a church right here on the summit. Not to mention this is a beautiful place. It really is. The mountains are so rugged. We have a complete panoramic view from up here. History aside, this is an incredible hike. got up here a little after four o'clock, so we're just going to have a couple of hours to relax before the sun sets. This is actually a very popular day trip from either Dahab or Sharm El Sheikh, but the tours start the hike in the middle of the night so they can be up here for sunrise. We typically love a sunrise because it usually means less people, but for this, it's the exact opposite. We're thinking we're gonna have this place all to ourselves for sunset tonight. We're the only ones up here.
shirt. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna rub it. Protecting yourself from the desert sun, are we? <laughs> oh man, that's good. That didn't work very well. So I have the title of assistant time-lapse manager because Jess is the official time-lapse manager. Today I'm falling down on the job. I haven't set up a single time-lapse. Jess is now on her third. Third time-lapse? Fourth. Fourth time-lapse. That's why I have the time -lapse. We're still an hour away from sunset and we have four time-lapses. Hi, handsome. Wanna come home with me? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yeah. Son of dog.